And staying on the same subject, the world's leading scientists on global warming, the so-called Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, have begun a four-day meeting in Brussels. It's the second of four meetings this year. This time, they'll be looking at the impact of developing countries like Bangladesh, which is expected to suffer from increasingly devastating flooding and rising sea levels. Our Bangladesh correspondent, John Sudworth, reports. This week, many miles from these shores, the latest evidence will be published about what global warming, rising sea levels and the changing weather will mean for communities like these. But here in Bangladesh, some believe that global climate change could already be having a profound effect. Delwar Hussain is a farmer with a big problem. He has no farmland left. Where he used to graze his cattle, fishermen now cast their nets. The increasing river erosion has once again forced him to abandon his home. If you're talking about the damage, well, the water has taken away everything, he tells me. The tide is much higher nowadays. Bangladesh sits on an enormous river delta that carries water all the way from the high Himalayas in the north to here, the Bay of Bengal. And it's clear that farmers like Delwa believe they are already the victims of climate change as this rising seawater washes back up those rivers and takes their farmland. 15-year-old Rina Afroz lost everything she had to river erosion. She's now been taken in by a charity which gives her a home and an education. If Bangladesh is to face more floods, the human and social cost could be huge. When all of our possessions were lost in the river, we had nothing left to pay for the treatment of my mother, she says. The family was forced to beg and her mother eventually died. As these banks here are swallowed up by the river, so too are homes and livelihoods. It's difficult to say with any certainty, of course, whether this increasing riverbank erosion is due to global warming, but scientists say it does fit the pattern. If, as a result of global climate change, rivers like this one are to take more water, then it's the people living along them who will suffer. Dr. Atik Rahman is one of the lead authors of this latest IPCC report looking at the impacts of climate change. Reduce the greenhouse gas now. It's not tomorrow. It's not beyond the Kyoto regime, it's now, because otherwise it will be totally out of control. And the communities, particularly the coastal Bangladeshi communities and many other small islanders will have to pay with their lives. Delwar Hussain says he hasn't heard of global warming, but this week we'll hear the latest evidence for how much it may already be affecting people like him. The report is likely to show that this watery land is one of the most vulnerable places on the planet. John Sudworth, BBC News in Bangladesh.